Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees, and here I am with these two plants that I discussed in my last video. I'll put a link below to that video about persimmons. These are two persimmon trees I have in pots. And in my last video I spoke about how I got these trees and under the graft is where they grew out from and my persimmons grafted died, the grafts died, so uh, that's not a good thing. So I want to discuss that because this is really important, uh, not only with these trees, with any trees that you buy. And you can get persimmon trees right now at laurafarmsmiami.com where I got these trees from. And I got bad news and good news. Uh, the bad news is I didn't do a diligent enough job in keeping an eye on these. I got these things in a, in a small, small, small pot. And I put them inside and I just kept watering them and watering them. And then I put them outside under a tree near a sprinkler uh, so they can get water. And they kept growing and I was just happy to see them grow. But as I looked more closely, I realized what I should have been doing all along. The graft on these trees is... Well, I did label them. You see that? I labeled them there. But the graft on these trees, this one is right here. This is the graft here. You can see that on this one. The graft was right here. And anything below this graft, I should have I should have not let grow. Anything below this graft, I should have taken off as it was growing and just left that graft. But I made that mistake. I didn't check it. I didn't check it. And what had happened was, as you could see here, below the graft, it started to grow. And now this is from below the graft. And I want to give you this example because uh, you should never let this happen. You should always keep an eye out on that. And now to confirm that it's over the gra under the graft, there's two ways I can confirm this on this tree especially. This is a persimmon tree, and persimmons you can get from a black sapote seeds. A black sapote is in the same family as a persimmon, and you can graft them uh, persimmons uh, on a black sapote seedling. And black sapote's leaves smell like black sapote. So, the sad thing is, I know the graft is, is, is below the graft because these leaves uh, are like black sapote. They smell like black sapote, but also they're the same shape as a black sapote. Well, again, that was my mistake not to, not to uh, let these things grow below the graft my mistake and there's the graft and there it's dead now there's two ways to know another way to know it's dead is the part that's grafted that's dead you can kind of take a knife or uh, kind of scratch it let me see i have uh, my knife here you can scratch the part over the graft and see at all if it's alive And this one is definitely dead. So even if I took everything off here now, it's it's not worth it, it's not good. Pretty much I have a black, black sapote tree here. A black sapote seedling. Can't use that one. That's the bad news. My error, my bad. Now the good news. This is the other one I have. The same thing happened to this. However, the graft is here. And if I went over the graft and I took the knife and I checked, there's still a little green on there. Not only is there a little green, the leaves are growing off of the, the grafted part. And below it, the black sapote leaves are this shape, and I'm not going to take down these, but these are the leaves to the these are the leaves to the persimmon. So I know it took. You see these leaves? How they're round? You see that round? These leaves are round, and these are the black sapote from under the graft. They're not round. 
So the good news is that this one is still good. So even though the graft isn't looking too well, it's still there and it's still growing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I should have did this a long time ago. I'm going to cut everything below the graft. Save this tree. So again, this is uh, under the graft. This is over the graft. You can literally see the graft right here. You can literally see he put it right in there. This is the graft and there's the growth on it. So thankfully so and at least one of them will be saved. Cut everything under the graft. Okay, so now this persimmon tree is still saved. There's this part here that's I can clip, but that persimmon tree is still growing. I'm really excited about that, and I wanted to show you this video so hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did. And Thankfully, that one's still lasting. That one's still good. The other one is not. So I just wanted to mention that and clarify that up. I spoke to Julian and, and he told me that uh, to check it and I did. And again, here we go. You see the leaves. Those are persimmon leaves. I have my other persimmon trees I showed you. Those are leaves of the persimmon tree. Look how different they are. These are the leaves I just cut. Look at this, okay? Look at the difference. So this works. So this this one's still good. This one, if I cut everything below the graft, there's nothing above the graft. So I lost that one. So I'll take it. I thought I lost both, but I'll take it. All right, I wanted to show you all this just so you have an idea. If you get these potted uh, seedlings and grafted onto them, if you do get them in like a one gallon, just keep an eye on them. I don't know if that one died because what grew out under it or because some grafts don't take. But I'm very pleased this one has. I love persimmons. Grab yourself a tropical persimmon or a trium persimmon. Some people say they're the same. Some people say they're different, but you can grab them from uh, laurafarmsmiami.com. I'll post the link below. And I know Julian has them there now. They are in season now. They're delicious. I just had an amazing idea. Instead of getting rid of this black sapote seedling, I have a persimmon tree. So I am going to maybe try to graft from my persimmon tree onto this seedling. I'm so glad I just thought about that before I got rid of it. So I'll I'll see how that goes. I'll try to graft on top of it and see if that works. Okay, I just got this budwood from my persimmon tree and I, I cut with the razor blade this. I found a nice green piece. So now, let's see. I'll go right there. And I'm gonna keep some of these leaves. I'm gonna take this old graft off. And last time I made a video, I was told to leave the leaf uh, where I was grafting. I said leave the leaves on the bottom. So I'll just take a few off that. I'll leave the rest, and then I'm gonna put this, hopefully, right onto that. This is exciting. This is the first time I'm, I'm grafting persimmon. Let's see how it goes. And this is a on a black sapote rootstock. So I'm gonna wrap that. Okay, now we'll put that back in. Like this way.
You see, one side is, is what you want. At least one side. I put it in here, and it's a V-shape going in the middle, and, and there's nothing you can see. There's no daylight in between that, so it's a good cut. So you gotta match one side up exactly the way it should be. The top is wrapped here, and now we're gonna tighten this one up here. All right, there it is. That is my, uh... we'll see how it is. There it is, I just got that idea that I would do this. Stay tuned, this is the first time I've grafted persimmon. We'll see how it turns out. And a lot of people didn't know you can graft black sapote rootstock with persimmon on top. So that's uh, uh, something we learned recently and uh, really uh, important to learn uh, or very helpful to learn that okay just they're in the same family all right everybody uh, put your comments and questions below and uh, I'm a happy camper here because I'm sad I lost one but I'm glad I got the other I got my persimmon in a pot so that's awesome have a blessed day everybody keep growing